One of the most famous arguments for the existence of God is what's come to be termed the design argument. And the design argument looks at the fact that, uh, in, particularly in biology, there are examples of all kinds of structures and systems that very much look designed. In fact, uh, Richard Dawkins, very famous atheist Oxford biologist, actually once defined biology as the study of things that look as if they've been designed. So even Richard gives a nod to it. Now, in more recent years, uh, the, those who uh, advocate the design argument, rather than looking at perhaps bigger structures, have actually got very excited by what happens when you look at the very small. And when you look inside the, uh, the, the cell of every living thing, you discover DNA. And DNA is the, uh, is, the is the molecule of life. It's the molecule that codes for the genes that make up every living thing. And uh, DNA, you've probably seen pictures of it. It's a very beautiful molecule. Its uh, structure was discovered by Francis Crick and James Watson back in the middle of the 20th century. And it looks a bit like a, when you magnify it, it looks like a spiral stepladder with the uh, rungs on that ladder uh, being one of four chemical bases recognized uh, recognized by the letters that start their uh, their chemical name and they are a c g and t and it's the combination of a's and c's and g's and t's as you read up uh, the spine of, our, of the dna that's found in us and everything else in biology that uh, in our case, builds a human being, or in the case of some other uh, life form, builds you know an aardvark, an ant, a lettuce, or so on. Now, the human genome is about three billion letters long, and when uh, we look at it, because the human genome was cracked and digitized a few years ago, we notice something very interesting. Those A's, C's, G's, and T's that run up the human DNA molecule, uh, they're not random. It's not just a random collection of letters. It's not as if biology has thrown a set of Scrabble tiles and shuffled them around. There is a structure to them. In fact, as Dawkins pointed out, it is effectively a biological programming language uh, there in DNA. Um, they're not random, but nor are they just purely determined. A determined pattern is one that repeats again and again and again. So if the DNA inside our, living, uh, inside our cells just read A, C, G, T, A, C, G, T, and so on, that would be a determined pattern. But to have information, to convey information, you need a pattern that is neither random nor determined. But we also know from a, from a field of, uh, of science called uh, information theory that when you have something that is neither random nor determined but very carefully constructed information, it is a sure sign of intelligence. And if you don't believe this, uh, when you finish watching this video, just pull up any web page, any news article, have a read, and you know, the article you've just read on BBC News or whatever, you'll notice the text in it is not random, not determined, it's very cleverly, cleverly structured because there's an intelligence behind it. Well, the very fact that we have sign of intelligence and information built into the DNA of every living thing, it's a massive problem if you're an atheist. Because what is that sign of intelligence and careful design doing at the very heart of biology? And I often say to my atheist friends, it's all very well to talk about evolution, but without DNA, we'd have nothing for evolution to select and operate upon. But there's another final twist in this story. If we turn from biology to astronomy, for the last few decades, there's been an amazing project run by astronomers around the world called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI. And this is a network of radio telescopes around the world, trained up at the night sky, looking for some signal from some distant part of the universe that would give us the clue, the final piece of evidence, that ET is indeed out there, that ET is, is phoning home. Well, if you go to the SETI website, uh, and you go to the FAQs uh, section, um, well, there on the FAQs section, for many years, they had a very neat description of what they were looking for. If you, are, if you went to the FAQs and you asked, what are you looking for? What would tell you that you'd found ET? They had this little sentence, we are looking for coded information on the signal. When I first read that, a little light bulb went in my, in my head, because isn't it fascinating? If we discovered non-random, uh, non-determined pattern information on a radio signal coming from somewhere on the back end of Andromeda or wherever, we would instantly go, intelligence! But yet, for many people, when they look in the very small, when they look inside the, the cells of every living thing, and they see that same pattern of non-random, non-determined information, they don't join the dots. As a Christian, however, I want to join the dots and say, well, I don't believe that human beings are just purely random. I don't believe we are just the result of uh, forces of evolution, but we were designed by a God who is a creative, intelligent force who has left his fingerprints right there in the, uh, in the cell of every cell of our body.